What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Black Randomizer Color Lock. We are at episode number 9 already and today we are going to be taking on Berg at the Castelia City Gym. Uh, obviously we had some trouble and we lost uh, I Love Pizza last time which is really unfortunate. In fact, um, he's still chilling in the party and we're actually going to be leaving the gym here because I thought I was ready to take on um, Berg here. But it turns out that we're not really, because his highest level Pokemon is 23, and uh, we are not even close to that. Uh, okay, well I guess Dawn is, but I want to get everybody up to, like, a more reasonable um, amount. Unfortunately, we can't really do much about Alex because he has, like, no attacks. He's pretty much useless at this point. We need to heal, is what we really need to do, but I don't want to waste all this PP that we have on uh, Kitty and Jessica. So I'm thinking what I want to do here is grind those two up a little bit and then heal everybody up so that we are ready to go for the gym. I don't think we're going to burn a lot of PP at the gym, so I'm not really too worried about that because um, he only has three Pokemon. So we're going to do a little bit of grinding. We are going to head on over to Route 4 and uh, we will be back obviously in this episode. I don't plan on uh, spending forever over there. Um, Route 4 is not that way. It is to the north. So to the north we shall go. So the basic plan here is we're going to level up a little bit, we're going to heal up, and then we're going to head back to the gym and take on Berg, and then that should um, that should be it. Should be it. Does anybody give us anything over here? I feel like somebody would give us an item. Um, I might want to pick up some things from the, the uh, vending machines here too because these are great healing items. So let's, um, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna keep buying. Just gonna keep buying. We're gonna spend lots of money. We're going to spend lots of money, especially on fresh water. Fresh water is very, very useful, very, very cheap. Um, and then we can buy some lemonades too, um, because this will come in handy for sure. Not that we can use it in a battle or anything. Um, but yeah, this will allow us to get another uh, encounter as well because there is an encounter here on Route 4. Uh, that's enough for now. We can always come back and do that later. Um, let's see, do you want to give us anything? No, no, this is the road to uh, Nimbasa, I think, is the name of the next town. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, trainer, take a look at the sand. Do you see how some areas are lighter and some of the sand looks darker? Pokemon are hiding in the darker sand. Okay, now there's a battle with Sharon up here. I don't even know if we can do that before battling the gym leader, um, but I'm not even going to attempt. What we want to do is we want to have uh, either Jessica or Kitty out in the front. Jessica is fine. Let's go ahead and get this encounter and pick up this ice heal as well. Just see what we got over here. See what we got. We have an ice resist. Oh my goodness. We are in business. We are in business as long as we don't kill this thing. And. <sighs> Crap. Because if I click Dual Chop, there's a chance that that could Oko. That's really sad. Um, but if I hit Slash, there's a solid chance that we could get a critical hit, which is uh, also bad. I'm just going to Slash regardless here. I think that's the best thing that I can do. That did not do too much. Do I dare Slash again? With the Sandstorm? I don't think that'll kill. I don't know if I'm in the business of risking that though. I think I'd rather go to Alex and just paralyze this thing because it's not fairy type. I don't have to worry about like play rough coming my way. Um, you're just gonna tail whip, that's completely fine. Sandstorm damage of course, and uh, we can T-wave you. This is the one way that Alex is useful right now until we heal up. And uh, we get the full power on the first turn which is lovely, sandstorm damage. And now we can use a Pokeball. I will use a Heal Ball because why not? I mean, does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. I can always buy more Heal Balls. So I'm pretty sure they're available at Pokemarts, right? Right? I mean, oh well, it's just going to save a potion then if it stays in, which it does. All right, we have an Azumarill. Okay, we have an Ice Resist. We have something that won't get O-Code by a Mamoswine. I'm going to pull up the comment section really quick. Uh, who do we have here? Who do we have? It's available for a nickname. Uh, we've got Kitty again. Uh, we're not gonna have multiple kitties. There's not room for multiple kitties! Oh my goodness. Um, Ferris Agron. Now it would be really funny if 
I nicknamed a Pokemon Agron that was not Agron. And that is exactly the type of thing that I would do, in fact. But I like the name Ferris. I think that's pretty cool. I think that works for an Azumarill. So I can spend all day in water since it can... In yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever, let's just go with the nickname. Let's see how slow I can do this. Uh, Ferris. Okay, down to lowercase. Hopefully I can spell this correctly because I'm not going to look at it again. Actually, I am going to look at it again. I am going to look at it again to make sure that I spelled that correctly. Okay, I did. Okay, we are good. Okay, alright, so we got Ferris the Azumarill. That is pretty cool. Level 15. Let's see what you got. A hardy nature. That is, um, that is neutral. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. As uh, we also see the huge power, so physical attacks are going to be good. Uh, teaching this waterfall would be fantastic. Oh my goodness, I'm actually quite excited. Um, unfortunately, it only has Water Gun that's going to be doing any damage. Rollout really doesn't do too much. Let's see, uh, as far as our TMs are concerned, um, if this thing can learn something. Uh, Rock Smash? It could probably learn Rock Smash. In fact, I'm, like, positive that it can. We might as well teach it, I would think. Uh, maybe Work Up? No, Work Up. There we go. Where's Work Up, too? Okay. Okay, this is this is reasonable. We can keep defense curl for rollout, I guess. And go work up. Work up rollout water gun. Um maybe get rid of something for rock smash later on. Do me rock smash right now. That budding coverage is not entirely necessary because we do have kitty. So uh, that is something. Uh, we have Shadow Ball here as well. Still nobody can learn uh, Shadow Ball. We also need to deposit um, I love pizza in the box. I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and um, do some grinding here. And when we come back, um, we will get ready for the gym.
Okay, we are finally, finally back. That was a little bit of a longer grinding session than I thought it was going to end up being. But let's take a look at the team really fast as I did um, go back all the way to the daycare person um, on, what was that, Route 3? So we use that heal up now, but we still have several others, including the one in Castellia City at the Pokemon Center. But we did get Ferris the Azumarill up to level 20. Um, and the only move that he learned was Bubble Beam, which is nice to replace the Water Gun that he had before. Uh, nobody else learned anything that I know of. Um, so we got Alex and Ferris at level 20, and then we got Kitty, Jessica, and Dawn all up to level 23, which should match Berg's uh, Ace Pokemon, whatever that ends up being. And I'm trying to think... Um, trying to think here... I think we'll want to lead off with Alex, um, because we can Dragon Rage things, and uh, even at this stage of the game, you see Haxorus, uh, 72 HP, that's still a two-hit KO, even at level 23, um, only Dawn would be able to survive that. So what we can do here is head into the Pokemon Center. I did use a lot of potions and things like that. Uh, I did use up all of my paralyzed heals as well, so I'm going to pick up a couple of those. And I don't want to buy super potions. I don't know why I was buying them when I could just go to those vending machines. Um, I'm going to do that again really quick because that's actually very, very helpful. Um, so let's buy a couple more fresh waters. I have the money to do it at the moment and we're okay on Pokeballs. So just buy a couple of those. I used a couple of soda pops as well. Um... All right, so now we are free to head to the gym and finally do what we were supposed to do in this episode, and that is take on Berg. And our PP is finally what it needs to be. Feels nice, but it won't last very long. Um, it will not last very long at all. Okay, I, I battled you already, person. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why you're just appearing out of nowhere. I definitely already battled you. Did I put Alex up at the front? Yes, I did. All right. Let's do this! Thanks again for your help. My bug Pokemon are scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. Let's get straight to it! Alright! Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get our third gym badge. 
I'm a little bit nervous to see what he has. Um, I'm also a little bit nervous looking at those pants. It's too much color. It's too much color. I mean, I love color. But it was like, I don't know. I don't know. We have Copagrigus. Cop Copagrigus. Copagrigus. I don't know. It's level 21. And I don't know what it has at this level. I've never seen a Copagrigus at this level. But what we can do is uh, we can we can Dragon Rage you right off the bat. Because this thing is so slow that even Alex will outspeed it. And that is going to be a solid 2 at KO. As unfortunately, we are going to get Willow Wisp here pulling out the competitive moveset. And Alex coming in clutch with the first turn shed skin. So we're going to take no damage from this. And uh, I thought maybe he was going to use one of his uh, hyper potions or super potions or whatever he has. But he's just going to let this thing faint. Alex is going to get a buttload of experience points. Um, trying to learn a move, I think. Uh, what is it? Slam? That might be better than Wrap, just because it's an attack that does damage. <laughs> um, 80 power, I mean 75% accuracy. I'm gonna get rid of Wrap for that. Uh, as useful as Wrap has been, Alex needs to be able to hit with some, you know, attacks. Um, as we see, Samuchum coming out here. This should not be able to um, kill me. It should not be able to kill me with anything, really. I mean, it could have, like, Powder Snow. We could just go out into uh, Dawn here. We could just go out into Dawn here. We also could make the play into uh, Kitty. But I don't want to take a Psychic type attack if I can avoid that. Um, Ferris actually would be a pretty decent play too because we can just roll out. But I don't know what that last Pokemon is. I don't want to get stuck um, in that situation. I really do not. Um, is there really anything stopping me from just going to Ferris though and just clicking Bubble Beam until it dies? Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Go, I'm just gonna go into Ferris here, just because we could take the Powder Snow or Ice Punch or whatever this thing has. Uh, thankfully, we avoid the Sing. I thought it got like Lovely Kiss or something. But uh, what we can do here is fire off a Bubble Beam as it actually outspeeds us. Poor Ferris is so slow. Our team is so slow. That does nothing. Oh my goodness, that does zero. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna work up here as we avoid the attack again. Oh my goodness. How are we avoiding all these attacks? I mean, Sing has like 55 base accuracy, but please don't get confused. Please don't get... No, Ferris! What are you doing, my friend? He breaks through anyway, though, and gets off the uh, nice and powerful bubble beam. It's not enough to kill. We may see, like, a super potion or something coming out here. So I think I'm actually going to switch again. Um, we could use this opportunity to go out into Kitty. Because we can probably just Oko this with a Brick Break, to be honest. Hmm. Let's go out into Kitty. Let's go out into Kitty. I feel like Kitty has the best, like, coverage to be able to handle whatever that last Pokemon is going to be. There is the Hyper Potion by Jonathan. Okay, then. And we can... <laughs> We can fire off a Brick Break here. Hopefully this kills this. Smoochum has crap defense. Please die. Thank you very much. We get a critical hit. I don't think that mattered. We just needed to get Kitty out uh, safely. As we see Ferrothorn coming out next. I'm so happy I went into Kitty here. This is going to be quite the matchup. This is going to be quite the matchup. I think I want to work up first. Um, to try to get off as much damage as possible. I don't know what it gets at this level though. And we have to deal with the iron barbs as well. Now, let's try Brick Break. That should be a 2 of KO. I don't see it being able to do enough damage to where that's going to matter. Yeah, that does well over half, as we are going to have to take the iron barbs. And it's actually a Cursed Ferrothorn. I think we can still kill here unless we get, like, min, 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 min roll. Please kill, Kitty. We need you to kill this thing. Thank you. Okay, this was a little bit tougher than uh, I had anticipated. Um, or maybe not that I had anticipated, but I was kind of hoping it was going to be like the first gym where we had just like a bunch of Caterpie action. Because uh, the trainers in between the gyms are the real problems, not the actual gym leaders. Um, but we are going to get our third badge of the lock. I'm actually pretty excited about that. It's the insect badge. And that's what Berg says. It's the insect badge. I mean, not Berg. Jonathan. Gotta get his name right. It's insectable. I mean, incredible. 
see what you did there. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. Because I'm a generous guy, I'll give you this. Please, please, please don't be a free pair of your pants. Oh, it's Struggle Bug. Okay. I can handle that. I don't think anybody except for Kitty can learn it, which is a bit unfortunate. So, uh, it's a good thing that I leveled up too, because I don't know that at level 21 that Kitty could have 2 it KO'd that Ferrothorn. And if it was setting up curses, that could have just ended our lock, potentially. Oh, our X transceiver is ringing. I mean, cross transceiver? Is it supposed to be cross transceiver? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, it's Bianca. Hey there, where are you now? Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Iris has trained me, and I've become a little stronger. Oh, you mean your bodyguard? I should be able to protect my own Pokemon. Now, let's meet at the gate of Route 4. Okay. Okay, we will meet at the gate of Route 4. Um, we'll have Ferris be out in the front because I like Ferris. I've already grown uh, pretty pretty fond of Ferris. I don't know why, just, just kind of have. Just kind of have. We'll use a potion. That's our last potion. Um, and we can... Yeah, we can just head right on over there now and battle her. Because why not? Then we can end the episode after that. I think that's a reasonable, a reasonable thing to do. I don't know if there's anything on this street at all. Like, what are these places? I don't even know. I don't even know, and I don't think it's that relevant. So let's go ahead and battle Bianca. Where is she? There she is! She was behind us this whole time. Following us. Okay, let's get into this battle. Oh, wait. Wait. What, what's going on? What is happening? They said we can have a Pokemon battle in the gate as long as we're careful not to break the electric bulletin board. Okay, then. We should be able to handle this, no problem. I mean, if we can beat Berg, we should be able to beat Juggler Joe. That's right. I forgot about Bianca's code name. Why do you have an Electros? Are you serious? Are you serious? It should not have, like, anything to hit Dawn with. It should not have, like, Flamethrower. So we're going to go into Dawn here as uh, we see the Discharge coming out. That's an awfully powerful move. We do not get paralyzed, which is great. And I'm gonna fire off a Psy Shock because I'm not messing around with this thing. Uh, I don't know if it has like Crunch or something. And we get a critical hit that probably mattered because Electros is not frail. Uh, as we see Swadloon coming out next. And this was her starter. So we can just go for the nice Confusion here that does over half. We avoid the String Shot. That has a chance to miss. I don't even know that. It must have like 95% accuracy or something. I don't know, but Swadloon goes down, and now we see the Frillish coming out, and that is potentially a problem because it's a ghost type. Um, hmm. We could go out into Ferris here. It's only level 18. I feel like we should be able to go out into Ferris and just roll out this thing to death. But I don't know about switching Ferris in to take damage. Um, Alex should be able to resist all kinds of things. Let's go to... I want to make the right play here. So we can just Thunder Wave and twist you down. Yeah, let's go into Alex. We do have our Eevee Light as well. Hopefully it doesn't have like will or something. Bubble Beam, that should not be doing too much, even though it's Stab. And uh, we will Power Flinch you to death. Because I'm not above that at all. You can just continually fire off those Bubble Beams. I don't even care. Obviously we can't go for Slam because it's a Ghost type. Let's see how much that does. That does nothing! Wow. <laughs> that does... Why are you breaking through so often? Oh my goodness. I'm being a bad person. You're supposed to lose to this. As... Is this really what we're doing? Is this really what we are doing right now? Cursed body recover. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Uh, we could go to Dawn, I guess. This is ridiculous. I'm switching all over the place because of the level 18 Frillish. We just beat a level 23 Ferrothorn! It's ridiculous! It is ridiculous. I will Psy... Confusion's not gonna kill. I'm gonna Psy Shop. Hopefully this kills. And it does. Cursed Body activates, but that does not mean anything, as everybody's going to get experience. And she has another Pokémon. It's a Slowpoke. Level 18. And now everybody is weakened, so that's just freaking lovely. Um, now what? Now what? Can Alex switch in on multiple attacks? I mean, I feel like this is not going to take much from anything Alex has to offer, especially Twister. 
We could go to Ferris. I don't know if this thing gets disabled. I feel like it does. We could go to Jessica here, or we could just stomp the crap out of you because I resist her stab. And I think that's what I'm going to do, as that gets a critical hit as well. And we get to flinch. Oh my goodness, all of the crits, as uh, Juggler Joe here is going to use one of those super potions and slowpoke will go down here after a couple more stomps dawn almost up to level 24 there and that'll do it for um i'll do it for dawn we do have a battle against sharon and that is going to be difficult um it's coming up here that'll be probably the first thing we do in the next episode and i actually want to run back i want to buy some regular potions because i want to be able to heal like as much as possible and even if that's like 15 HP, I want to be able to do that and not have to waste my fresh waters. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, they're not that expensive. I'll buy 10 of those, and we're pretty much right back where we were as far as money. But let's pull out the potions here, because most of these people only have about uh, 20 HP that they need recovered. So that's, that's something. We can keep Ferris out in the front, I guess. Well, no, probably not, because we got Sharon coming up. I don't know what he's going to lead with. i got to deal with that Luki again. I don't know. We have time to think about that, though. Um, let's just go ahead back to the gate, and then we are going to call it an episode. I don't know if this was eventful or not, but uh, we accomplished what we set out to do, which was grind. We got our encounter for the next route already. We defeated the gym. So I guess we did pretty good. I guess we cannot really complain. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will be back on uh, Thursday for episode number 10 where we will be battling Sharon and working our way over towards Nimbasa City. I don't know if we're going to get there next time, but we'll see what happens. If you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like or a comment or whatever you would like to do, of course, and I will see you all for the next episode. But until then, game on.